and welcome to the Fit Active Studio Gym. I'm going to show you an exercise now called Dead Bug. It has been pointed out to me that this bug is not actually dead because it's still waggling its arms and legs around. So let's call it Half Dead Bug. Start the line now. You may or may not wish to use a weight here. Um, if you prefer, you can just do this exercise without weights. In fact, you probably should start when you, if you haven't done this before, you should start without the weight. I'm going to show you with the weights. You're going to start with the weight above the chest, and you have a leg over a hip, leg over hip. Raise one leg at a time, and put a bit of a bend on the knee. So, before we go any further, I need to talk to you about neutral spine. Neutral spine position is where your back is feeling in a natural position. I can feel my pelvis on the floor, and I can feel my upper back resting on the floor. The centre part of the back, or the sort of the mid part of the back, or the lumbar part of the back, is not pressed onto the floor. So you've got a little bit of a curve. Now, if you're not sure where your where your neutral spine position is, as we call it, then just tilt your pelvis in this position. Tilt it so that you can press the base of the pelvis towards the floor and then tilt it the other way so that you feel the top of the pelvis coming into contact with the floor. Find a position that is midpoint between those extremes of tilt. So you can feel the pelvis on the floor, but the lumbar part of the spine just above the pelvis is not pressing against the mat. It's got a natural, neutral lumbar curve. Okay. You need to hold that in a static position. So whatever you do when you found that position, try not to let it move. Hold the tummy muscles. So you can use an out breath. And imagine that you're taking your belly button to spine. As you breathe out, using that out breath and activating your tummy muscles, you're going to lower one heel towards the floor. Breathing in, lift the leg back so that it comes above the hip. Let's have a go with the other leg, breathing out, lower the heel towards the floor, and breathe in, lift it back up again. Keep it going, lowering the leg, using the out breath to engage those tummy muscles, and then lifting it up. Lower, and lift. Using your out breath on the lower, and lift. You can do a number of things to progress this and make this exercise more challenging. You can maintain this hand, up, uh, your hands above your chest and you can repeat the leg lower on the same leg. So doing four or more on the same leg is just going to take a little bit more work into that side of the body, into that side of the arm. The other thing you can do to challenge yourself is to lower this weight over the head. So as you lower the arm, as you lower the leg, you will lower the arm. So they go above the head. And then lift. Lower. Again, don't forget your out breath. And lift. Lower. And lift. Now, I really want to emphasize that if you feel that lowering the hands like this, that they go overhead, is causing the lumbar part of the spine to come away from the floor, then do not lower the arms. Keep the hands above the chest. And if you're using a weight, you may even just think, I'm just going to put the weight down for a bit and have a go lowering and raising without the weight. It's essential that you master the position of the neutral spine and keeping it static before you start to progress the exercise. So reduce your range, just take a little leg lower and keep those movements small. And once you have perfected your movements with a small range of motion, you can increase your range. So it's really important to start at your level and to progress upwards from there and wait until you are feeling fully ready and wait until you feel your muscles are strong before you make that progression. Uh, you know, this is, this is your, your workout, your move, so make it right for you. Okay, thanks for listening.